Okay, so the bank really didn't have anything. Nation Star was in these, these two cases. They, they combined, uh, consolidated the Nation Star versus Opportunity Homes and the um, Jimmy Jack versus um, Bank of America. Why they combined them is a mystery because Bank of America defaulted and um, so that case was closed. Nation Star versus Opportunity Homes, Nation Star never uh, pursued it. Nation Star became a, a, a defendant in intervention into the uh, Jimmy Jack case. Why they did it that way, you'll see. Okay, so in there, they, in discovery, now the discovery in the consolidated cases ended in uh, the end of February 2019. So. If NationStar didn't have the evidence by the time they filed their case in January of 16, at least they should have had it by the end of discovery. So all they had before the end of discovery was a copy of the promissory note and that was not even um, endorsed to them or to anybody they said gave them this uh, loan. Okay, so here's the second and third pages of the Hansen promissory note that all say copy right there on the top right. Looking at them a little closely, who was this endorsed to? So like I said, Western Thrift and Loan had it at the uh, beginning, and they said, pay to the order of Flagstar Bank. Before that, on the, you know, the second page, they had said they had crossed it off. So there wasn't anything to anybody on that page. <clears throat> and then the um, Flagstar handed it over at some point to Countrywide. And Countrywide, it's blank. Countrywide didn't give it to anybody. 